think it is uh, a project that, that satisfies three things. It has a, a structure that has been clearly thought out, an infrastructure that really works, and an ethos or a design that reflects both of those. Uh, from my perspective, being an engineer, I'm obviously going to be biased and, and, and the uh, excellence of architecture, I'd say, is um, an openness to, to the principles of, of uh, engineering and, in, in my case, building physics. So not just looking at the aesthetics, that's a key aspect, but, but looking at the performance of, of certain aesthetical uh, aspects. Well, I know it's quite, quite common uh, and now it's quite popular to, 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 to lift the towers off, off the ground so you have these public realms at low level. Um, and I guess that would, that would directly answer the question that, that, that you know, what, what is the benefit to Singapore being a kind of a dense city space. So that's, that's one way of, 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 of doing that. Um, uh, other than that, I mean, in terms of performance, uh, it's a very extreme climate. So I think it's, it's even more important that you bring on the, you know, the right team in terms of the right architect and the right engineer to, to make sure that you get both the aesthetics that you want and also the performance. And I, well, I'd, I'd concur with that. I mean, I think that, that uh, actually it, the, the challenge in Singapore, of course, is, that it's hum is humidity. But, um, but um, I think from our experience in India with the project I was describing, uh, if, you, if the architect actually works closely with the engineer, um, you make a, you make a, a solution that, that really fits the environment you're, you're working in. And that depends on, you know, it depends on the environment itself. The, the challenges are, will, will change. When society gets more affluent, um, that's a kind of leading question because actually society is going to get more numerous to start with. Um, and my great belief is that, that uh, um, I'm an, I'm, an, I'm an optimist about this. I think that I think that as the planet gets bigger and the economies get bigger, um, the demands for um, intelligent solutions will grow. Because whilst technology is going to is it will in fact remove many of the manual type of uh, uh, you know, the kind of low order um, jobs in the world the number of high order jobs will grow enormously. And this is a long way, ask, long way around answering your question, but, but I think that what we can expect is uh, a demand for intelligent solutions. Uh, and that in turn will actually make for better architecture and better engineering. So iteratively, it will get better and more interesting. Uh, arguably, yes. Uh, I think society is going to become more numerous and maybe uh, a portion of that as percentage wise will become more affluent but I think uh, and, and so in numbers it will grow but, but I think uh, there's going to be a lot of, of um, people in, in poverty and those close to it that, that as uh, and, and I think that's where architecture needs to be focused in terms of social housing and, and sort of projects for the masses because uh, um, I was listening to a program about noodles and I, I don't know whether this is applicable, but um, they were saying that noodles, noodles, are re noodles are really important <laughs> because they are a way of providing nutrition to the masses. And actually, you can chart statistically the, the use of noodles and, and map it to growth in society. And, then they're, and they're predicting that noodle uh, production and, and use and consumption is going to increase because populations are increasing and not all of those will be affluent. So, so it's a bit of a an interesting question really um, when are we all going to become more affluent spotlight on what else is going on in the world I mean it's very difficult to keep up with everything that's happening you know you could spend your whole week reading magazines and looking at the internet and all that couldn't you um, but what this does in one place is it actually shows you what your contemporaries are doing and thinking uh, and that, I think, is a very important thing. Of course, for the winners, it's great as well, isn't it? But uh, uh, 
I think it's brilliant to see what's going on uh, in, in terms of architecture and, and for an engineer I think uh, it's, it's, al it's almost an audience I mean uh, we were lucky enough to present uh, today um, so it's, it's, it's saying what can engineering do for architecture in terms of making it more efficient while keeping a, a good aesthetic so uh, for me it, it's twofold it's, it's both keeping up to date but also hopefully uh, uh, starting and, and, and developing uh, collaboration with architects.